Hi there. There's been several methods shown recently on how to make a frame for a suspender card. The suspender cards are the design of the Clip Art Fairy um, and you can visit all her designs at theclipartfairy.co.uk um, but having had a go at some of the tutorials I wanted to see if there was other ways of doing it. There usually are and this is my way whether you prefer it or not is entirely up to you but it is a different way of doing it. Okay so the first thing I've got in Craft Artist 2 is my grid lines um, which are taken down from the rulers and they're just going to give me an idea of the size of my card front and for this purpose I'm having a card which is 14 by 5 by 14.5 centimeters. Okay so um, the first thing I want to do is, is draw some rectangles. So I'm going to come up here to Shapes. Select the drop down arrow and the quick rectangle and then draw any rectangle in the box here. Come down to Transform and in the boxes here we're going to put 9.5 Tab on your keyboard and then 14.5 and Enter and that gives me the rec my basic rectangle. <clears throat> Come up to the colour tab and just make sure that your rectangle is transparent so that you can see what's going on. Now then, with the, uh, the design, we're going to be going backwards and forwards from select to shapes and usually if you want to move this shape around you now have to select select um, and then back to shapes but what you can do instead is just take the little icon here at the top left and drag around without having to go to select and this is quite useful because now what I want to do is duplicate this rectangle so I'm going to hold down my shift key put my cursor in this icon box and then drag sorry not my shift key my control key and you've then got a, another rectangle. So that's hold down your, um, your basic shape, then put your cursor in the icon top left hand corner, hold your control key, and then just uh, left click on your mouse and drag, and you replicate your shape. However, I don't need the three, so I'm just going to delete that one. This second one that I've made, can highlight that one. I want to change the dimensions of it and I want them to be slightly smaller, 8.5 height, um, well, sorry, width, then press your tab key and 13.5 height and press enter. Now I've got my two sized rectangles. I now need to come over to select and then select both the rectangles. You can either do that by drawing an imaginary box around both of them or if you press Control A, that will also select everything on your worksheet. Come down to Align, Center vertically, Center horizontally, and you've now created a frame. Okay, so that's our first part of the, uh, the process. The next thing we want to do is come back to Shapes, and this time we're going to draw a circle. We're going to draw two. So hold your shift key down this time and that makes sure that you draw a perfect circle. And again, I'm going to hold the control key down and drag another circle away. So with the, the one I've just got highlighted, because it's selected, I'm going to transform and I'm going to make this one 9.5 tab, 9.5 enter, and that gives me my first circle. The second one we'll have um, we'll alter in a moment. So let's just come to this circle. Let's bring it over to the edge so that these little boxes, top and bottom, are just resting on the larger the edge of the larger rectangle. Now, with your shift key down, you want to select the um, other the large rectangle as well. So you'll need to come up to select first of all. Keep that shift key down, wait till the rectangle goes blue, left click, and there you've got your two shapes selected. Come down to align and centre vertically, and that way you've got your circle in the middle of the rectangle. And if you then uh, have come back down to arrange, 
The fourth icon from the left is subtract. Press that one and you've got the first part of your shape. So now we're going to take the second circle and we're going to transform and this one is going to be larger. We're going to make this 10.5 tab on your keyboard, 10.5 and then enter and we're going to bring that one over and again we're going to line up those top and bottom boxes on the uh, larger shape. Okay, so now have the smaller rectangle, hold down your shift key, click on that one and now you've got your larger circle and your smaller rectangle selected. Come down to a line and centre vertically. That's great. So having got still got them both selected, we're also going to come down to arrange and subtract. So now you have your two shapes that you need and we're going to now select both of them, draw an imaginary box around them and we're going to come down to um, com combine and that gives us a, a, a frame um, where only the, if you colour it, let me just show you, it will only colour the frame part. Okay, so we'll just go back to transparent. Before we go to the next step, I just want you to uh, hold down your control key and drag another copy of that to one side. Now the uh, frame that you've just uh, made is going to be put into your stencil area. So just take the icon, drag it over and now it should be your last one in your stencils. I put it under frames, you can put it under whatever category you feel like. So we can get rid of this one now and we're going to bring the frame that we've just created onto our worksheet and it's not always the same size as when you dragged it over so this really then needs to be uh, made larger until you've got the size that you want on your card. Alright, so here's your stencil. I've got um, a material over here that I'm going to use. I'm going to bring it over and I could do one or two things. I could bring it over so it fills the whole of this space. I can drag it out to make the material bigger until it fills the whole stencil. Uh, the other thing I could do is, we'll delete that, I could bring the material over <clears throat> and make it small. And then I can just fill my stencil with a smaller pattern of the same material. If you hold down your control key, you can just then drag another piece of this same sized material all over your stencil until you've filled it up completely. Okay, so there's your smaller pattern. And then you just click on the blue area of the stencil, lift the stencil, and now you've got your shape that you want. Now we come back over to our duplicated copy. Unfortunately we combined this uh, before we, we made a copy. My fault, sorry about that. But never mind, we just come down here to break apart. And now all we need is the inside one. And we're going to take that over to our stencil area as well. Okay, now we can get rid of both of these. Bring the new shape over onto your work page. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is just sit this inside my new stencil. Or my new frame. Okay, just so that it fills up. It doesn't matter if it's slightly bigger. It's going to go to the back of this new one, um, so it really doesn't matter. You can alter it um, any way you like. Okay, there we are. That should be absolutely fine. And we are now going to take that to one side, bring our material back, and now I'm going to just stretch the material until it fills the whole of the stencil. Click on the blue of my stencil, lift it off, and bring this piece to fit over into my frame. Oops, bring that down a tad. And again, 
if you if you can see any white areas just stretch it out so that it all gets filled in and then come down to arrange and centre back and when you click away you can see you've got this smaller area around the larger area select the outer frame again now come up to your colour tab and select the, the line turn that white then to your line tab and alter the size of your line you can try any size you like but I went for two and then click away and now you've got a definite separation between the one paper and the other you can also make this one a little transparent if you like and again you've got a different effect again all you need to do now to finish your suspender card is to come back up to shapes hold your shift key down make a circle and this can be dragged over to the inside and you can alter the, sh the size of that you might want to make that 8.5 by 8.5 and that's kind of fits nicely in again you could make this into a frame you can put your uh, material into the frame and it would all match up the choice is yours really I just wanted to show you how to make the frame thanks for watching